I began working with Quilting in the Tetons out of a community development effort that happened in the, started in the late 70s and the early 80s as part of several community think tanks and discussions that we, I was facilitating on what we might do to build our economic capacity here in Jackson. When I first came, a lot of our families were, that were involved with 4-H and that I worked with in my other extension programs were laid off from Labor Day until around New Year's and that put tremendous strain on the families and it was a tremendous strain on the businesses. After Labor Day, until about 1986, we died economically. I remember a time when I would literally put a sign on the door of my business, a business in which I had been engaged since 1962, and say, gone fishing. And literally took the children and went down to the Snake River and fished. I could not do that today, nor would I want to. September has become a, a month equal to June, if not greater than. We have now days in September that have 100% occupancy. I remember previous to the advent of such things as quilting in the Tetons, I remember renting 10, 11 to 20 rooms. We could employ very few people. We had to lay people off earlier, much earlier. In the late 1970s, Tex Taylor came to work in Teton County as our county agent. He, as an ag economist, was able to interest me and teach me how to do the economic analysis. And we did economic analysis around the air traveler outfitting in Wyoming. We looked at the summer visitor, the winter visitor, the Teton County, and started getting a synergy going amongst the business community and better understanding that if we work together, we could create economic capacity here in Jackson. We assessed that we had three assets in the community that we could expand on. That being our art community. We had a lot of artists. We had a lot of doctors, what we might do medically. And we had a phenomenal airport where tourists could come in if we were to expand our tourist economy. You know, I remember back in the 80s, 1983, 1984, in that period of time, working with community leaders to develop an activity, to develop a program, together with the Chamber of Commerce and the Extension and the arts groups, a program to bring more people here. So we decided to do a Fall Arts Festival, this committee of about 12 people. And I remember Harris Vincent, who was the chamber president at the time, he was also the general manager at the Wirt Hotel. And he said, my mom won't come to see me because she will only go to quilt festivals. This was about the time of the bicentennial and quilting as a interest was starting to emerge or resurface in the United States. I knew absolutely nothing about quilting. I knew how to sew, but I had no idea about the fabulous history and stories that make up quilting, which I have learned now over the last, it's 26 years I've been working on this. So we started the quilt festival um, with the help of Ina Vincent, who was an officer with the Utah Quilt Guild. She brought in 120 quilts from Utah. We were able to get Marinda Stewart to come with the Fairfield Wearable Art Style Show. Donna Wilder was very gracious to help us with that. I, you know, it's been, to me, an accident that has gone right with Quilting in the Tetons. I had a fabulous mentor in Marinda, got the right instructors here. Through Marinda's counsel and Donna Wilder's counsel, they said go after nationally recognized instructors. I did not know who they were. We've evolved over the years and we've developed the criteria that we wanted to be a teaching resource for teachers and a place that what folks would come here or our participants could come here and take their skills home and use it for economic development for their families, for their businesses, or for their communities. It makes sense for somebody to say, well, what, why would you be doing that? Or why would the University of Wyoming of Extension Service be doing a quilt festival? It's not, it's not that it's a quilt festival. It's that it's a festival that's expanding a tourist economy. And festivals are a phenomenal way for Extension to help grow 
their community's economic base. We're so blessed because we're truly event-driven in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Mountains are gorgeous, the colors are here, people come for those, but we needed to have the amenities, and we needed to have those activities. And thank goodness to Quilting and the Tetons. We now have a fall upon which we can rely and upon which an economic base has been created, an employment base, a quality of life base.